What makes the gyro chaser unique are the curved blades and the special rotor hub that we created for it. Um, we're going to start with the blades and how to curve the blades. Um, if you look at them, get this out of the way. If you look at them, you'll see that they kind of have like a shape of a Pringles potato chip. They are curved um, and they start out flat like this. These are uh, just basic balsa wood blades and we need to curve them and to do that we're going to wrap them around a wood dowel. Now you can't take just dry balsa wood and wrap it around a dowel because it's going to crack. Um, the secret is to soak them in some ammonia and water solution. Um, and then what happens is the ammonia softens the wood fibers enough for it to curve without cracking and then eventually it will evaporate out leaving us a curved piece of wood and this will stay like this pretty much uh, forever. Um, to do that we're going to need a wooden dowel and you need a three quarter inch wooden dowel. Uh, it doesn't have to be wooden, it just needs to be three quarter inches in diameter. And you might have something at home that's already three quarters inches in diameter. Um, check your broom closet because brooms, you know, that broom handle might be three quarter inches. Um, I have a plunger at home. Uh, don't, don't always recommend using it, but it also had a three quarter inch uh, wood dowel handle. Um, and for the ammonia solution, um, I'm just going to use uh, some Windex because it already has ammonia in it. The downside of this is it also has some a little bit of soap in there and the soap makes it so that tape doesn't stick very well and we need to use some tape to wrap it around the wood dowel. Um, but the first thing is to marinate these in, uh, in the ammonia solution. So I'm just going to spritz these with, you're going to, if you're working on a plastic table like I am then just spray it right on the table. Uh, if it's a wood surface, you might want to cover it up with a sheet of plastic like a, like a garbage bag or something. And you'll notice right away that this one um, is, is kind of puckering up, and that's good. Um, the wood fibers are swelling, and it's absorbing the, the water solution. And I'll just flip them over and spray the backside as well. And next... I'm just going to, I'm going to wait five minutes and let the uh, water be absorbed into the wood uh, and then we'll come back and we'll start wrapping it around the wood dowel. While the uh, wood is marinating in the uh, ammonia solution, um, I'm going to take my wood dowel and I'm going to draw a line down it. And this is the same way we draw lines on body tubes. Just take an aluminum angle or, or door frame or the Estes Ultimate Tube Marking Guide and take a marker. And you want to use a permanent marker for this. And draw a straight line all the way down the dowel. We're going to use this line to line up the edge of the balsa fin. And because we need to make sure that these are aligned straight because they're, they're somewhat flexible at this point. And I'm going to do it on, on two sides because I can put two, two pieces all the way around the uh, dowel. And over here, I've got some strips of masking tape ready to go. Um, and you're also going to need some cloth. And uh, this is an old bed sheet, and I ripped it into some strips. And this is about two inches wide. And I also got one that's uh, about an inch, inch and a half wide. Um, the width doesn't really matter, um, just as long as you can easily handle it as you're doing it. And you'll notice on my uh, balsa wood that I've left the little tabs in. You can pop those out if you want. Um, it doesn't matter. At this point, we're pretty flexible. 
Um, the longer you leave it in the, the solution, the more flexible it's going to be. Um, now, as you, we're going to lay these on the on the balsa wood like this, but it's important that we get all the pieces going in the same direction. So, uh, on this one, I get this is my top, and this is on the right side. Um, this is my right, your left. Um, just make sure you don't do two like that and one the other way because now you're, you, it won't um, start spinning. Um, it's the curvature that actually makes the rocket start spinning. So I'm going to lay that on there. Just make sure it's along that line. And I'm going to tack that down. Now this is where the, the soap makes it a little hard because as soon as the soap touches the, uh, the sticky on the masking tape, the masking tape doesn't want to stick anymore. So you got to keep your hands kind of dry. And I'm, since I'm going to do two at once, I need my other one. Again, remember this one was on my uh, right side. And I want to put this one on the right side too. Make sure it's a line on that line. And uh, wrap the tape around. And I'm going to put two pieces on because that one obviously didn't stick. Doesn't have to look pretty. Now we don't want to cover the whole thing up with tape because the tape doesn't allow the water to evaporate out. So we only want to use as little tape as possible. And I'm going to put one here on the bottom too. And it's important to make sure that it stays along that line. It can be fixed, but it, it requires another dip into the uh, solution. Okay, so I've got it wrapped around. I'm going to take a piece of, of cloth and I'm going to start this above the balsa wood there. I need a short piece. Okay, and then I, you can see I'm kind of squeezing it to kind of wrap it, get it started going around. And I'm going to pull tight. It does help to have an assistant with this to make sure that you're laying it flat. And always keep checking, make sure that you're straight along the tube. And at this point, I can remove the bottom one. Any tape that I can pull off means it's going to just dry a little faster. And I can see I'm kind of sliding. As you're pulling, you're kind of pulling it around. So I'm going to unwind it a little bit. Make sure that it's along there. Do the same for this one. Okay, now this one came off the line, so again, I have to back up, loosen it up. Don't pull so tight. <laughs> it's probably what's, what I'm doing wrong. All right, much better. Now, depending on the length of your strip, um, you may be able to start the last one right up below it. This piece of tape is just to just to hold it there, so I can start winding it around. I should mention that we didn't do any sanding or shaping to this blade. And the reason is, is as it absorbs water, the, the fibers swell up. So if you sanded it before, 
you're going to get, you're going to have to sand it again later just to smooth it back down. It, it helps to have a couple of strips in case you're a little short. It looks like I'm doing pretty good here. All right, and then when you get to the end, just take another piece of tape and wrap it around. And that will hold it down. You can see the water's coming through, which is good. We want it to uh, evaporate out. Um, and then well, I'll just let this sit. I'm gonna let it sit overnight uh, because I, I want it good and dry. I want it to be you know, as dry as a potato chip, just like that one. So when I come back, we'll go ahead and peel this off and see what we got.